So, unless you've been living under a rock the size of Crusader the past week or so, I think you'll know all about the PvP drama that seems to have gotten itself wrapped up with the players over on Spectrum and in the verse on other channels. Now, for a quick update, or a quick, uh, perhaps maybe a uh, reiteration on what that problem actually is, Sig decided to finally punish a few players, uh, a few select extreme players, specify that first, and ban their accounts from playing this early access alpha uh, tech demo. Now, I have my opinions, but first of all, we have to start with the facts, of course. Sig specified that their reasoning for doing this was to remove excessive player killing. This was quickly retracted and adapted and changed to have a more accurate meaning and it seems that they have rested on the fact that they are only trying to ban players that take excessive measures to grief particular targets. Now it's not like SIG are defending particular targets but it does make it easier for those targets to uh, report a problem like harassment or continued griefing or continued PvP killing and label it as griefing or harassment. If all of that sounds pretty normal and understandable to you, then great, because it's hard to really get into the mindset of a company that doesn't truly explain themselves, um, not even with their patch notes. Now, on to my opinion. This video is just supposed to be a quick post-it note, a stamp on my channel for anyone who comes by to watch to really see what I think of this drama and how I think it might affect the game going forward. If you don't know me, my name is Stewie. Uh, I'm a pretty big PvP player in Star Citizen. In fact, I spend most of my time just trying to fight people because that is where I find my fun in the game. Now, like many, I am waiting for Theatres of War to really help me push that avenue of adventure and really try to make PvP a continual thing on the channel. I play Star Marine quite a lot, but we all know Star Marine has its issues. And the PU I try to play, but the PU does make it difficult to even do a bit of trading now and then, let alone try and find someone to kill. For me, PvP in this game is why I bought it. It's not just about the adventure through space for me, or the beautiful planets and fantastic art assets that we get to goggle our eyes at. It is about the player versus player interaction. I know full well what's going to happen as soon as jump gates get put into the game. I know how that's going to affect the player base on a global scale. It's going to involve a lot more PvP. Now, here is where I stand on the current PvP drama. Okay, the actual issue at hand. I do understand where SIG is coming from. I understand why making excessive attempts at targeted player killing or going out of your way to track down and try and follow a certain player and constantly disrupt or get in the way of their general gameplay adventures. Maybe even looking at content creators and streamers and trying to spoil, I'll put that in little quotation bunnies, and try to spoil uh, planned events. Daymar Rally, for example, it's an international affair. Everyone knows about it. It happens every year. That is an organized event set up by organized people. But are the PvP players that go there to try and disrupt it breaking the game? You could argue that yes, they are having a severe impact on the fun and excitement that the uh, Day My Rally would bring to players and the community at large. But you could also say that this is the game. Large groups of players trying to do some sort of organized event being disrupted by another organized group of players trying to do an organized event. It's just that one organized event is solely focused on disrupting the other. Personally, I see this as just the future of the game. Just like with star maps or just like with jump points, people are going to organize and try to control jump points. If I know that a certain organization controls a jump point, does that mean that specifically targeting those players on a daily occurrence, weekly, maybe even monthly, actually is griefing to an extent is that excessive player killing now i know a lot of you in the comments and probably over on spectrum or maybe even a developer if they're watching this knows full well that that is not probably uh, again probably in quotation bunnies here is not probably the direction sig want to go in i think they're okay with certain aspects of the game and events causing large pvp interactions it's just where is the line drawn at what point are you 
an organized gang of criminals targeting a certain aspect of the game mechanic. Let's bring this issue closer to home. If I was playing with my org and if I was taking part in an organized event, a PvP into org event over on a planet like Daymar, would I be right to say that other players are griefing if they get involved to purposely disrupt it? In my opinion, it's not difficult to, to say, oh, those guys were stream sniping they can clearly see that we're playing over on twitch.tv forward slash mega org event pvp dema um uh, uh, please please sig ban them i th i think that taking the risk alone to just have a big organized event in game in verse not on a private server is obviously a risk you are taking you are saying to other people just on that server alone hey we're over here doing this thing please you know try not to interrupt now you could argue that it's very different when natural players on the server interrupt that fun because well they were there first perhaps or they just joined randomly maybe sig are trying to target those that actively disengage from their server log off and log back on just to try and connect to yours maybe they add themselves to your friend list just as an, as an attempt to uh, sneak into your server all of these things I can definitely see as arguments. I just don't know how valid they are on the broader spectrum of how the game is actually played. I don't think it should be a quote unquote crime or excessive player killing to try and interfere with something like the Daymar Rally. The Daymar Rally is a fantastic event, but not only is it a fantastic event set up by fantastic people, it's also a time where PVPers get a chance to really do something. And yeah, I do think that PvP criminals and pirates, especially people that want to be known across the verse as pirates, big organized events are a fantastic time for them to make a name for themselves. And I don't think that's a bad thing. If we had Daymar Rally and some very well organized, very well prepped people managed to completely and systematically take over the event, destroying ships and destroying the actual operation, yeah, there would be a lot of very upset faces in the community. But is this not the game? We could argue about the morality of not getting in the way of big organized events like this because of how important they are to some players. But then are we limiting the actual enjoyment factor of those pirate groups that do want to have something meaningful to do? Just being a pirate PvP player, just being a good bounty hunter, just being a good combatant isn't something that's going to get you recognized. Being a winner in the Daymar Rally, however, is something that's going to stay with you for a long time. And I think disrupting the Daymar Rally is equally just as much of a mighty feat. Basically, what I'm saying is, yes, if you are going out of your way to follow a particular streamer, to follow a particular player, to jump servers, to add yourself to their friend list, to make alternate accounts just to add to their friend list in an attempt to log on, disrupt, and target that one individual repeatedly and repeatedly over and over again. Yes, I can see why SIG should and would ban that sort of conduct. That is far more excessive than planning and prepping for a particular time or a particular event. It is simply just in-game harassment. In real life, you are not allowed to just stalk someone, start copying all their information, following them around. You're not allowed to just be a nuisance to them on a day-to-day -day basis but as much as you also aren't allowed to plan a bank robbery and successfully commit it in real life in games this is where those people criminals and pirates who legally can't have fun not saying that they would of course but let's just go with the hypothesis here legally can't have fun in real life get to have their fun in a video game and also those people that want to be heroes who again legally can't in real life because of ramifications and consequences can go and be heroes in game this seems to have been started a lot by individual players complaining about excessive pvp killing i do it myself when i find a miner who's mining and i try to call them if they don't respond i open fire sometimes and I'm going to be honest for the sake of transparency here, I'll fly in front of their laser so that they become hostile and I get to kill them for free. To me, this is just playing smart. It's part of the game. And yeah, it's arse holy and I feel a bit dickish. But that is the cheeky fun of video games. And Star Citizen allows you to have some of the best flexibility and open fun available if you're willing to put your mind to it. 
I think players who complain about excessive PvP killing need to understand that the game is more than just themselves. If you want protection whilst you're mining, in the game, in the future, you should either be mining in a highly protected area anyway, maybe a pl uh, maybe an area of player interest, there's lots of other players around to protect you just naturally, or by hiring some sort of NPC or player protector or guardian to look after you. Frankly, if you are out in a prospector expecting to be safe 24-7, you just don't understand the game, in my opinion. But, also, if you're trying to say that an organized group of people can't try and disrupt an organized group of people, well, you again are completely misguided on the direction of this entire game. Org versus org combat, or, you know, to the more extreme as we've discussed, that is the game. Big global events that matter and cause forever lasting effects, that is the game. And that is what Star Citizen will eventually be. It will be a living world, a breathing world filled with player interaction. We all know that we're not going to be able to control an economy. We all know that we're not going to be able to massively disrupt the politics of this game. But what we do get to do, hopefully one day, fingers crossed, soon TM, is have bases on Yella, maybe a, another base on Selen, and control the Stanton system with our PvP players. And this is what you sign yourself up for when you organize yourselves in a game built around PvP. Thank you guys very much for listening to my thoughts and opinions on the matter. This is just a video which I really hope resonates with some of you and mostly starts a discussion. Remember, I am trying to grow this channel. I do my best. I am very busy at the moment, but I wanted to get this video out to you because it's important to me. PvP is a huge topic in this game. It caused a lot of drama and I, well, I need the clicks. No, I, no, I did have some opinions I wanted to, to share and I think you've heard them today. If you have your own opinions, let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, click the like button. Maybe even give me a little subscribe. That would make me feel very good inside. Go check me out on Twitch as well. I might even be streaming. I know. I do that. Mental. And until next time, I'll see you then. Goodbye for now.